All right, guys, have a great class. Be a Jedi today. Think positive, ready, together. Begin, please, inhale. Push your chin down, bring your arms all the way up. Breathe in long and slow through the back of the throat. Exhale, head back. Slowly push the head back. Eyes open, mouth open. Make a soft H-A sound and slowly close the arms together until your elbows touch. Hold it together. Inhale, open the arms up, bring the head down. Look straight ahead, push the chin down into your hands, bring the arms up to your ears and hold it. Exhale, head back. Slowly push the head back. Eyes open, mouth open. Make a soft H-A sound. Bring the arms together until the elbows touch. Very good. Inhale. Open the arms up. Squeeze your butt. Pull your belly in. Squeeze your legs together. Push your feet down. Find the strength in your legs and stand tall. Exhale. Head back. Slowly push the head back. Keep your eyes open, mouth open. Make the soft H-A sound and sound like Darth Vader in here. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reach the peak and hold it up there. Exhale, head back. Six, five, four, three, two, one, elbows touch, hold it together, inhale, pull the air in through your nose, through the back of the throat, pull the energy in, push the chin down, bring the arms up, lift up and hold it, exhale, head back, slowly push the head back, keep your spine straight, keep your muscles nice and contraction, squeeze your legs, squeeze your butt, squeeze your elbows together and find your chest muscles, inhale, open up low and slow, head down, arms up, stomach in, chest up, stretch all the way up, hold it nice and strong, Exhale, head back. You guys look good all together here. And letting the force be with us. Bring the elbows together until they touch. Inhale, pull the air in. Use the nose, use the back of the throat. Pull in as much air as you can into the lungs and then think you can pull in a little bit more. Get it in there. Exhale, head back. Slowly push the head back. Keep the spine nice and straight. Shoulders over the hips. Push the hips a little more forward so you have the shoulders and hips in line. Inhale, one, two, three. Four, five, six, look straight ahead, push the chin into the hands, exhale, head back. Squeeze the hands nice and tight, move the fingers into the webbing of the other hand, palms together, wrists together, elbows touch and hold it. Inhale, open the arms, let the chest open up. Use the arms, help this chest expand the rib cage, lift up, hold it up there. Exhale, head back, slowly push the head back. Eyes open, spine straight, bring the arms together until they touch. Hold it together there, inhale, one, two, three, halfway there, four, five, six, reach your peak, hold it at the very top. Exhale, head back, six, five, four, three, two, one, elbows touch, good, one more. Inhale, pull the air in, low and slow, deep into the mouth, deep into the throat, deep into the nose, stretch all the way up to the top. Exhale, head back, slowly push the head back. Keep your spine straight, finish it off nice and strong. How much air can you get out when you're finished? You can push out a little more and clean your lungs and change, arms down by your side, good. And you can cough through your throat if you'd like to. Roll the shoulders back and forth a couple of times. Good morning, Adina. Glad you made it, sweetheart. Interlock all 10 fingers. Place the knuckles underneath the chin. Focus again straight ahead. Ready, begin. Inhale, chin down, arms up. Stretch all the way up. Prove to me you're not a robot. Push the chin down, arms up. Exhale, head back. Slowly push the head back. Keep your spine nice and straight. Make that soft H-A sound and sound like the ocean right behind my back. Inhale, one two, three, four, five, six. There you go, hold it up here, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, elbows touch, inhale, open the arms, expand the arms, expand the rib cage, expand your lungs, fill them up with oxygen and power, exhale, head back, slowly push the head back, spine straight, eyes open, mouth open, make a soft H-A sound and bring it all together in front of you, hold it, inhale, pull the air in, through the nose, through the back of the throat, push the chin down, bring your arms up, stay strong, push your feet, squeeze your legs, exhale, head back, slowly push the head back, Keep the spine nice and straight. Look back. Keep the eyes open. Find your awareness. Where are you? Inhale. Pull it in. Low and slow. Deep breathing through the nose, through the back of the throat to empower the body with more oxygen in the lungs. Exhale. Head back. Slowly push the head back. Spine straight. Eyes open. Mouth open. Bring it all together in front of your chest. Lift the elbows high. Hold it. Inhale. Just a couple more here, guys. 
Keep it long and strong. Head down, arms up, stomach in, chest up, hold it. Exhale, head back. Slowly push the head back. Finish it off here nice and strong. Let's try a couple more with a 10 second breath. CDC recommendation for the guidelines of deep breathing. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Now you're halfway, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Keep trying to pull the air in. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. There's our 10 seconds. Inhale, pull it in. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Exhale, let it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Elbows touch. One more 10 count. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Look at you guys. Three, two, one. Keep inhaling. That was awesome. Exhale. Ten, nine, eight. You got it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it together. Hold it and change. Arms down by your side. Excellent, guys. That was beautiful. Everyone working together, creating that sense that we have in the classroom, that community. Let's go into our asanas now. We start our warm-up. Half moon pose. Toes and heels together. Arms over the head sideways. Palms together. Interlock your fingers. Release your index fingers. Cross your thumbs. Get a nice tight hand palm grip. Stretch up towards the ceiling. Right and left. Right and left several times. You can feel some stretching. Go down both sides of your body all the way up to your fingertips. So in other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling. So reach up there and touch the ceiling. Clean off that dust from those ceiling fans. Stretch it up. Right, left, right, left, right, left. All right, stop in the middle. We'll start it together. Beautiful, Miss Adina, moving like those palm trees right behind you, girl. All right, now weight in the heels, hips forward, upper body back. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your legs together, squeeze your palms together. Inhale, reach up, try to touch the ceiling in an absolute straight line. Slowly bend your body up and over to the right and push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create tremendous stretching, so it's up to you to create it with your strength. So squeeze your legs together. Squeeze your feet down into the, push your feet down into the floor. Squeeze the ankles and knees together, guys, so your legs are trying to bring one solid piece of muscle. Now bring the right, right shoulder more forward towards the front. Keep the chest opening up. We're trying to open up the power in your lungs, the power in your nerves nervous system. Get your immunity going. Now squeeze your butt. Come down a little bit more. Take it further. Come down. Push, push, push. Inhale, breathing. Come up and stop in the middle. Inhale, reach up. Try to touch the ceiling in an absolute straight line. Slowly bend on over to the left like we're painting the top of the ceiling here with a paintbrush. Come on over. Push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. Lean back into the posture and squeeze the butt muscles and squeeze the back seams of your legs together. That'll help us get deeper into our hands to feet pose coming up. So get your body ready. Get the palms together. Get into your shoulders so you can use the arms and shoulders to pull in the hands to feet pose. Lean back a little bit more. Keep that muscle nice and tight. Squeeze your butt. Keep your eyes open. Breathe a little bit better. Come down. Push on your exhale. Push, push, push. Inhale, breathing. Come up and stop in the middle. Backward bending is next. So inhale, reach up. Try to touch the ceiling. Bring your head back, your arms back. Bend your total spine backwards from the coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Whole spine backward bending. Push your upper body back. Try to fall down backwards. Get maximum weight into the heels. Bring your arms back. Lift your chest up. Breathe behind your lungs and heart. Open up your circulatory system. Bring the arms back. Bend your spine. Get into that nervous system. Arms back, go back, fall back, get your palms together, elbows closer, go back, way back, more back, inhale, breathing, come back up and stop in the middle, bend your knees, bring all 10 fingers to the floor, work on keeping your arms and head together all the way down, all the way down, very good, all 10 fingers on the ground, now start to move your hips, right, left, right, left, right, left, and shake it out, that's it, move the hips, right, left, right, left, twist those hips, rock and roll here a little bit, moving the hips, shaking it out, twisting it out. Guys are looking good. Shake, shake, twist, twist, rock and roll here a little bit. All right, good. Squat down, grab your heels from behind. <clears throat> Step on all 10 fingers and line your baby fingers up side by side. Get you a good grip behind you. That's it. 
hands to feet pose. So hands should be under the feet, elbows on the leg muscles throughout the posture. Squeeze your elbows together. Squeeze your knees back together. Begin to pull on your heels. That looks better, Stephen. Pull on your heels, push your knees back, roll forward, and try to lock your legs. Keep your eyes open, touch your face, and work on pulling the body together so you're stuck together like an almond butter and jelly sandwich. Roll forward, push your knees back, and try to lock your legs. Keep your eyes open, touch your face, and lock your legs. Pull it together, guys. You gotta roll more forward. Your body will get closer together the more you roll forward. Pull harder, squeeze the knees, stand firm, push your feet down, lift your hips up. Roll forward, lock your legs, keep your eyes open, touch your face, last chance, lock your legs, lock your legs. Arms and head together, inhale, breathing, come up slowly. Arms and head together, on the way up, reach up, try to touch the ceiling, very good, stretch up, stretch up. Nice, Stephen, nice, Michelle. Exhale, arms down by your side, stand still, breathe easy, relax, and let your bodies just recover, breathing through the nose. Let's try our second set, here we go. Toes and heels touching, bring the arms over the head sideways, palms together, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, get a nice side hand palm grip. Now inhale, reach up, touch the ceiling, seal the palms together and slowly bend to the right and push your hips to the left. Come on down, push really hard, squeeze your butt muscles, those are big muscles, use them, squeeze them nice and tight, it'll help decrease the size of the muscle and make it even more powerful and stronger so there's no fat around the muscle. Squeeze it tight, get rid of that adipose tissue, bring the right shoulder more forward, bring it down a little bit more. How much have you got in you? Get your palms together, guys. Come down, push, push, push. Inhale, breathing, come up and stop in the middle. Take a deep breath, reach up, try to touch the ceiling in an absolute straight line. Slowly bend over to the left and push the hips to the right. Looking good here, Adina. Push the hips to the right beyond your flexibility. Create tremendous stretching out on the right side of the body, all over from the inside out, bones to skin. Lean back into the posture, keep the chin up, the throat visible. Squeeze your palms nice and tight. Left shoulder just a little bit more forward. That looks good. Now see if you can take it a little bit deeper. Come down, push, push, push. Inhale, breathing, come up and stop in the middle. Inhale, breathing, reach up, try to touch the ceiling, bring your head back, your arms back, and bend your total spine backwards from the coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back, whole spine, backward bending, lift your chest up, push your stomach, legs, hips, thighs, everything more forward towards the front mirror or the front of your body, front of your room. Bring your arms back, go back, fall back. That looks good, Amy. Go back, try to fall down backwards. Inhale, breathing, come up and stop in the middle. There you go, Adina. Now bend over, grab, come on down and touch the hands to the ground even grab a coconut. I don't think those are coconut palms. Come on down, all 10 fingers on the ground. Start to move your hips now, right, left, right, left, right, left, and shake it all out. Move it all out here. Move the hips, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's it, guys. Get a little more loose and comfortable. I'm going to release the lower spine. Get some circulation, lubrication, moving through our bodies. All right, squat down. Grab your heels from behind. We want to keep moving. That's what to get rid of the inflammation to help us keep moving. Squat down. Grab the heels. Hands under the heels. Squeeze the elbows close together. Now begin to pull on your heels. Stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Pull it all together. Stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, face touching the legs below the knees. From the side, you all look all glued together. Pull harder, roll forward, lock your legs. Keep your eyes open, touch your face, lock your legs, last chance. Lock your legs, lock your legs, lock your legs. Now bring your arms and head together. Inhale, breathing, come up slowly. Arms and head together together all the way up, reach up, try to touch the ceiling one more time, get that stretch out of your spine and slowly let the arms come down by your side, stand still, breathe easy, relax and let your breath recover. Good work. Step to the right six inches apart with your right foot. <clears throat> Bring your arms up parallel to the floor so all five fingers are together. Now stretch your arms forward, suck your stomach in, exhale breathing and sit down. Feet flat position until your hips touch the chair. Hips all the way down into the chair. Hips down, sit down. Hold the chest up now, upper body back. Try to look like one of the chairs there right behind you in the house. Lean the upper body back, stretch the arms more forward, suck your stomach in, hold it in nice and tight. Lean back, go back. Hey, try to fall down backwards. 
Inhale, breathing, come up, keep your arms there. Good, Michelle. Stand up on your tippy toes, nice and tall, ballerina style. Stretch up towards the ceiling, suck your stomach in, and sit down on your tippy toes. Spine perfectly straight from start to finish. Pick your knees up towards the ceiling. Push the heels more forward towards the front mirror. Nice, Andrea. Pick the knees up. Push the heels more forward. Come on down and sit down into the chair. Upper body back, chest up, stomach in, hold it in. Inhale, breathing, come back up. Keep your arms there. You got this. Now take your heels off the floor, only a half inch gap. Squeeze your knees and thighs together and don't let them separate. Suck your stomach in and come down as slow as you can, all the way down, all the way down. Take your time, nice and slow, like a nice smooth elevator ride. All the way down, all the way down with a soft landing that doesn't scare you when the elevator stops. Now squeeze the legs together, suck your stomach in, upper body back, chest up. Hover over the heels, guys. Lift up off the heels a little bit, then make sure the knees are still parallel to the floor. Upper body back, stomach in. Inhale, breathing, come up. As slow as you went down, all the way back up, all the way back up. Step back into the left, arms down by your side. Stay in still, breathe easy. Relax and recover your breath. Second set, step to the right, six inches apart. Bring your arms up, parallel the floor, all five fingers together. Stretch your arms forward, suck your stomach in, exhale and sit down into the chair. Come on down, get the hips down. Sit into the chair like it's nice and easy. Stretch the arms forward, suck your stomach in, upper body back. Bring the upper body back. Stretch the arms more forward, hips back more. Stomach in, stomach in. Again, lean back, go back, fall back. Beautiful, Andrea. Inhale, breathing, come up. Thanks for being a nice model there. Now stand up on your tippy toes, nice and tall. Stretch up towards the ceiling, suck your stomach in, and sit down on your tippy toes. Pick the knees up. Push the heels more forward and sit on down into your chair. Keep the spine perfectly straight as if the head, shoulders, and hips touch the wall behind you or the imaginary wall behind you. Knees up, heels up, upper body back. Sit down and don't go below the chair. Inhale, breathing. Come back up. There we go. Great control this morning, Andrea. All right, take your heels off the floor. Just a half inch gap. Squeeze your knees and thighs together. Don't let them separate. Now suck your stomach in and come down as slow as you can. As you're coming down, lean back. Keep the shoulders over the hips. Like when you keep your balance when you're on water skis. Lean back, stretch the arms forward, come all the way down, all the way down, and sit down on your heels. Now hover over your heels, lift your hips up, suck your stomach in, squeeze the legs together nice and tight, and then try to bounce a few times. Bounce like a little bouncing basketball. Where are all those basketball players? Bounce, baby, bounce, baby, bounce. Stop on the upper lift and hold it. Inhale, come up as slow as you can. Back in control, squeeze those legs together. Step back into the left, arms down by your side. Stand still, focus on your breathing, looking good. All right, let's go to our next posture, Eagle, Garurasana. Bring your arms over your head sideways and bring your right arm under your left arm. So right arm goes under the left, swing and cross and twist your arms. So you're twisted right at the elbows, a little higher above the elbows so you can cross at the wrist. Interlace the hands a few times and release to prayer. Put the elbow, the hands right in front of the nose, pull the elbows down and sit down into your chair, upper body back. Lift the chest so you have that backward bend like we just practiced and awkward. Lift your right leg up over your left leg and bring the ankle behind and below the calf muscle so the five toes are visible on the other side of your calf. Now get a good squeeze around the knees and the elbows so we can get into the extremities to get extremely into the larger joints, your hips and shoulders that are attached to the torso. Pull your elbows down and sit down. Suck your stomach in, lift your chest up, bring your upper body back, bend the spine again like that first set of awkward, lean back, go back, upper body back. Change, inhale, arms up, unreal, un, untwist. Bring your arms up, bring your right left arm under the right arm. So left under the right, swing it up. Cross the left under the right as high as you can on the elbows and cross again at the wrist. Bring the hands, palms together, thumbs towards your face. Pull the elbows down and sit down into the chair. Focus and concentrate. Now lift your left leg up over your right leg. So we can keep our balance on this side. Perfect. Now get a good squeeze around the knees and the elbows and pull the elbows down and sit down as low as you can. Keep your chest up, your upper body back. Bend the spine, lift the chest, pull down, get into the shoulders, sit down, get into your hips. Change. Inhale, bring your arms up, open up your wings, get ready to fly into the second set. Bring the right arm under the left, 
Cross your arms, try to get up there higher so you can bend over a little bit, trying to get above the elbows as high as possible. Wrap it up, seal the palms together, make your beak on your ego's face and pull the elbows down and sit down into the chair. Upper body back, keep the chest up. Now lift your right leg up over your left leg, ankle behind and below the calf muscle, five toes visible on the other side of the calf. This looks good, now get a good squeeze around the knees. Pull the elbows down, sit down, suck your stomach in, squeeze tight. You don't have the heat to worry about. Falling out of posture is just balance. Suck the stomach in, upper body back, keep the chest up. Good, Miss Sharon. Change, inhale, arms up, unwrap. Open the wings, get ready to fly to the next tree. Now bring the left arm under the right arm. Left under the right, there we go. Hands, palms together, thumbs towards the face, little fingers towards the front. Pull your elbows down and sit down into the chair. Get the hands right right in front of the face, get your eagle beak. Now lift your left leg up over the right leg, ankle behind and below the calf muscle, five toes visible on the other side of your calf. Pull your elbows down and sit down. Suck your stomach in and sit down. Lift your chest up, bring your upper body back, bend your total spine into a backward bend. Move the knees a little to the left, upper body to the right, pull down, sit down, stay down. Change, inhale, arms up. Good job, guys. All right, right into the second set. Right arm under the left, or was that two sets? Okay. All right, that was two sets. Thanks, Miss Sharon. All right, good. I was waiting for your answer. <laughs> okay, guys, take a little sip of water then. Let's take a water break. All right, good work, everyone. Just a little sip of water. Moisten the throat. Okay, everybody doing okay? Thumbs up, everybody okay? Ready to go, perfect, good job. All right, let's take it on then, guys. Here we go. Our best posture, standing head to knee pose. It is now May, and that is our pose of the month. All right, let's see how this one works out. So bend over, grab your right foot just a couple of inches below the toes. Let's get everyone just to bend over, or grab the foot, and get a 10-finger grip. All right, now all 10 fingers interlocked. Look straight ahead. Suck your stomach in. Let's work on the foundation of this posture. Push your feet down into the floor and bring the weight more forward. Bring the weight more forward so more weight is in the front thigh muscle. There's more muscles there to hold you up. Now squeeze those thigh muscles and get them stronger. Suck your stomach in, get it stronger, round the spine. Push your right foot into your hands. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently, right leg lifts up and stretch forward towards the front. Kick the heel forward, turn the toes back so you feel your ankle is flexing or trying to move more into the ankle. Help the Achilles tendon move into that, move that energy into the calf, into the hamstring, into the hip, into the lower spine. So kick more forward, flex at the ankle, and pull the toes back and stretch, feel tremendous to stretch underneath the leg. Kick forward, turn the toes back, lock both legs and keep both arms locked. Once you can master both legs locked, both arms locked, you can take it into the third step. Bring the elbows down until they touch the calf muscle. All right, change, retrace your steps to come out of the posture. Good work, guys. Now, the longer we're in the posture, the more you're going to be able to warm up. So today, I just try to find like a pot, the part of the posture I can hold. All right, so go for that. Put your weight into the right leg, bring your left leg up, stomach in, bend over and grab your left foot a couple of inches below the toes. Get a 10 finger grip and try to cross the thumbs. Make a little hand basket for the, hand, the foot to rest into the hands. Then you put power on that foot into your hand so the grip won't slip. Now hold the stomach in and as you're pushing the right foot into the hands, try to round the spine more, get into your shoulders more. Suck your stomach in, inhale breathing and slowly gently right leg lifts up, I mean left leg lifts up and stretch forward towards the mirror until the leg is exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. Kick the heel more forward, turn the toes back. Feel like you're kicking forward and pulling back, you're feeling that resistance, that's the key to the balance, start feeling it. Hold your stomach in, kick the heel more forward, flex at the ankle to get into the Achilles tendon. Once you can get both legs locked, contracting thighs and standing standing powerful, start to bend your elbows. Because as soon as you start to bend the elbows, the brain's gonna be like, well, maybe I should bend both knees. Try to keep that strength and get your mind stronger. Change, retrace your steps to come out of the posture. Good, place your hands on your hips, do a little backward bend. Good, and we go into our second set. 
Standing head to knee pose, Dandiyamana Janna Shirasana. Feet together nicely, bend over, suck your stomach in as you bend over and bring the right leg up. Notice as you suck the stomach in more and more, it gets easier to bring the leg up and grab the foot. I get a nice tight grip. Keep working on pulling the belly in, your core strength. Now push the left foot through the floor, suck your stomach in, inhale and slowly, gently kick the right leg forward. Kick and pull back, that looks good guys. Kick the heel more forward, turn the toes back and lock both legs. Keep kicking, keep pulling back. Once both legs are locked and contracted, then you can bend the elbows down until the elbows touch the calf muscle. Once the elbows touch the calf muscle and you feel strong and flexible enough without the heat, bring the body down, chin into the chest and eyes on stomach. All right, retrace your steps to come out of the posture, guys. All right, that was good work. Good work. All right. All right, most of us get maybe to the third part, a little bit to the third part, not as deep as we normally are. All right, put your weight down to the right leg. Bring your left leg up. Bend over and grab the left foot a couple of inches below the toes. Ten finger grip. So all ten fingers are interlocked. Now look forward and bring your weight forward. That's it. Good. Now suck your stomach in, inhale breathing and slowly, gently left leg lifts up and stretch forward towards the mirror. That's it, good Steve, good Michelle. Kick the heel, turn the toes back and lock and contract both front thigh muscles. So the more you squeeze the front thigh muscle, the more we can release the back of the leg. Kick and pull back. Flex at the ankle, kick the heel more forward, turn the toes back. Once both legs are locked and you can balance in the upside down L, then bring the, L, the elbows down to the L shape. Get the elbows to squeeze in and hold the leg there. And if you're ready, see if you can go on and bring the head to the knee, chin into the chest and let the head just touch the knee. That's it. Change, retrace your steps to come out of the posture, guys. Very good. Toes and heels together. Place the hands on your hips and do a little supported backward bend here. Good, let's go to standing bow pulling pose. Toes and heels are together. Bring your right hand out over to the side. Bring it down behind you. Hold your right foot at the inside of the ankle. Now bring the left arm straight up towards the ceiling. Bring the shoulder into the chin. Have no gap around the left arm and the face. So pull the arm into the center. Bring the knees together. There should be no gap between the knees. The knees are touching side by side. Now inhale, stretch up and kick the left knee down in the opposite direction. And then exhale, keep kicking. Try to squeeze your butt muscle as you're trying to kick. As you squeeze the butt muscle, it's gonna help you find your lower spine. So you wanna kick from the lower spine to help get your chest and abdomen all the way down, parallel to the ground. If you want more, more body temperature, you gotta get the heart lower under the spine. So you're gonna get the body, chest and belly parallel to the floor. Come down more, kick back more. Keep kicking and stretching, equal and soft. Simultaneous 50-50. So the harder you kick, the more you can balance. Turn it on and kick a little harder. Squeeze your butt and kick. Come down, kick. Reach forward and kick. Last chance, come down, kick. Inhale, breathing, come back up. That's it. Good. That's fine, Maureen. All right, arms down by your side. Bring the left hand out and over. Grab your left inside ankle. Bring the right arm straight up towards the ceiling. Now you're all set up for the posture for standing bow pulling pose. All right, here we go, guys. Bring your knees side by side. Right arm straight up. Remember, you're a Jedi for Star Wars Day. So inhale, stretch up, then exhale. Try to shoot your bow and arrow like a real warrior. Now bring your body down and stretch. Pull back, kick back. So you're going to have some power behind the stretching. So you got to find the strength. Keep kicking and pulling back and stretch forward as much as possible to allow the body to start to open up, allow the muscles, create that tension to open up and move oxygen in. Now bring the body down and stretch more forward. Keep kicking and stretching. Equal and simultaneous. Try to separate the two wrists. Come down more and try to get the two feet in the same line. Body down more. Stretch forward more. Come down and kick one more time. Change. Inhale. Bring it back up. All right. Arms down. Feet together. Stand still. Breathe in through the nose. Let's try our second set. Set it up. Right hand out. Right foot. Grab the right foot. Bring the left arm up. So set it up. Let's see how well you do with the setup. All three little moves there. There we go. Left arm up. 
Shoulder in, knee in, bring it together, guys. Now inhale, stretch it up. Then exhale, let's kick it back. Kick as hard as possible. Bring the body down and stretch more forward. Keep kicking and stretching. Equal and simultaneous, 50-50. Looking good here, Mr. Robert. Stretch the arm forward, kick the leg directly behind your head and don't stop kicking. Kick back, kick up, body down, stretch forward, come down, kick. Get the chest down, the belly down, improve your heart rate. Body down, kick. Kick, come down three, two, one. Inhale, breathing, come back up. There we go. That was go good job. All right, feet together nicely. Bring the left hand out and over. Grab the left hand side ankle and bring the right arm up. <coughs> Excuse me. Knees together. Shoulder in. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, kick the left leg directly behind your head. Kick as hard as possible. Kick the leg directly behind you and don't stop kicking. Kick back and kick up and reach forward. Body down more. Kick back so the body can get down, guys. Get the two wrists in the same line so that even if you can't see where they're at, see if you can feel them. Try to use more of your awareness and your sensory awareness. Body down more. Stretch forward more. Come down. Kick. Kick. And kick one more time. All right, there we go, Robert. Inhale, breathing. Come on, back up. Toes and heels together. Arms down by your side. Stand still. Breathe easy. Hey, guys, step to the back of the mat. Let's move into balancing uh, balancing stick. Tula Dhanasana. All right, bring the arms, feet together, arms over the head sideways, palms together. Interlock your, in, your fingers and release your index finger across your thumbs. Now upper body back, inhale, breathing. Step forward on your right foot, plant the foot, lock the leg and come down. Arms and head together, arms, head, legs, body comes down, parallel to the ground. Stretch your arms more forward, stretch your leg to the back wall. Feel like you're in a big human tug of war. Stretch the arms forward, stretch the leg to the back. Bring your chest down, suck your belly in, stretch, stretch, stretch step back toes and heels together upper body back inhale breathing step forward on the left foot plant the foot lock the leg and come on down arms and head together arms head legs body comes down parallel to the ground stretch your arms more forward stretch your leg to the back wall keep the arms long and strong keep your body strong contract your belly hold it in tight keep stretching stretch Stretch, stretch, step back. Toes and heels together, upper body back. Arms down by your side. Stand still, breathe easy. Relax and calm down the breath. Breathe in through the nose. Keep your mouth closed. Excellent. Second set. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, upper body back. Inhale, breathing. Step forward on the right. Plant the foot, lock the leg, and point the toe and come down. Make sure your knee is locked, your toe is pointed. Feel long and strong. Tighten every muscle you got. Tighter is lighter. Stretch your arms more forward. Stretch your leg to the back. Chest down, arms up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Step back. Toes and heels together, upper body back. Inhale, breathing. Step forward on the left foot plant the foot, lock the leg, and let's go. One more side there, Stephen. Come on down. Body down and leg up. Stretch your arms more forward. Stretch your leg to the back wall. Keep everything nice and strong, guys. Where's your muscles? Pull your belly in. Squeeze even your butt cheeks and stretch, 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 and step back. Toes and heels together, upper body back, arms down by your side. Stand still, stand proud, lift your chest, breathe behind the lungs and heart. Allow the shoulders to relax down, feeling heavy like big, heavy raindrops. Relax and breathe. Second set, inhale, arms overhead. Oh, we already did two sets. All right, come on over to the left of the mat. Let's make our transition. All right, good guys. We're powering through that. Make, your side, make yourself to the left or you can uh, go to the top of your mat so you can step out to the right. You guys have got this. You've been here before. You know what to do at home. All right, here we go. Standing separate leg. Bring your arms over your head sideways and take one big step to the right. Open the arms, open the legs, legs nice and wide, arms nice and wide. Now turn the toes in slightly, suck your stomach in deep. Exhale, breathing and come down as slow as you can, looking forward, sucking your belly in, squeeze your thighs. Good, so you get that nice little contraction on the front side. You gain that control of the legs. Now come all the way down and grab the outsides of the feet if possible. See so if you can grab the outside feet under the heels. If you can't get under the heels, 
then go a little closer to the feet, to the toes. Now look at the floor, chin away from the chest and start to pull the body down and closer to the floor. Keep pulling. So I see a lot of hips, but I can't see where the arms are at. Try to bring your elbows back towards your shins. That looks better. Now roll forward. Your spine looks better in that position. Keep pulling. Now try to roll a little bit more forward into the balls of the feet. So you can just pull your kneecaps up into your thighs and really squeeze the thighs nice and tight. Roll forward. Keep the thighs tight. Pull, breathe, exhale, go deeper. Now bring your arms out to the side. Inhale, come up slowly. Good. Now bring your right foot back to its place and arms up and exhale, arms down. There you are. Good job, guys. Breathe in through the nose, mouth closed. Second set. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, step right, big step. Go for it. Don't need a lot of rest because you're not recovering from the heat and the respiratory system. All right, turn the toes in, suck the stomach in, exhale, come down. Use your exhale to come down. While we're not in the hot room, really key in on the value of the breath and the practice. Stomach in, let the exhale help you find more space to come down. That's it. Now grab the feet anywhere you can. All right, now start to pull the elbows back towards your shins and roll more forward and keep pulling. Now keep the eyes open so you can see where your head is getting and see if it's getting closer. See if it's in a new spot. Roll forward, pull harder, bring your elbows out, bring your elbows back towards the shins. First we stretch the legs, then the hips, lower back, middle back, upper back, whole spine stretching. Roll more forward, pull harder, touch your head to the floor, touch it and change. Arms out to the side. Inhale, breathing. Come up slowly. Exhale there. Inhale, bring it all back together again. Arms up. Exhale, arms down by your side. Take one breath. Breathe in through the nose. Mouth closed. Everything's cool, calm, and collected. You're a Jedi. Second set. Bring your arms up over your head sideways. Oops. Uh, yeah. Are we on the second set? Yeah. All right. Step to the right. One big step. Turn the toes in, suck the stomach in. I thought we did two sets, did we? Okay, yes. All right, push your hips out and turn your right foot out. Let's go to triangle. Let's make sure I'm on the right page. Turn the right foot out, bend your right knee, get down as low as you can. So I hate not being able to hear you guys. Sit down as low as possible, bounce down and get the spine in the center. Spine in the center, just a little bit more, Dina and Andrea. Inhale, breathing, move both arms at the same time. Put the right elbow in front of the right knee, stretch up, stretch down, look up towards the ceiling. Touch the chin to the shoulder. Profile of the face in the mirror. Keep the arms stretching nice and wide. Stretch up, stretch down. That looks good. Good, Michelle. Now keep the arms in one straight line. Again, try to find the two wrists in the same line like you did in bow pose today. Stretch the arms up. Stretch the right arm down, the left arm up. Now push the hips to the front and lean back with your upper body. Now suck your stomach in. Push your feet down into the floor. Inhale, breathing. Come back up. Good. Now turn the right foot forward, open up the left foot away from the front side so it's parallel to the front. Bend your left knee, get down as low as you can. Bounce down, get down. Let the hips get down there so we're down nice and low. Push the hips more forward, upper body back. Inhale, breathing. Move both arms at the same time like a windmill. We're stirring up some wind here. We're getting the body more energy, more power like a windmill. Now stretch up, stretch down. Keep the arms nice and long and strong. Fingers together, guys. Keep the fingers together. Keep the technique strong. Now push the hips more forward and lean back with your upper body. Right hip more forward, guys. Push the feet down into the floor. Get more power out of what's on the floor. Find your grounding on the earth as a Jedi. Suck your stomach in. Inhale, breathing. Come back up to the warriors. There we go. Now push through the left foot. Turn the left foot forward. Bring the right foot back to the left foot. Bring it all back together again. You got it. Arms down by your side. Stand still. Breathe easy. Second set of triangle. Trikonasana. Bring your arms over your head sideways and take a big step to the right. Open the arms, open the legs, get them to work together. That was gorgeous, like we were in the classroom, beautiful. Now turn the right foot out, bend your right knee, and get down, get down, like you all were this weekend. Hips forward, upper body back, inhale, breathing. Move both arms at the same time. Get a nice straight line in the arms. Now stretch up and stretch down. Feel the lines in the arms. They look really good, guys. Elbows look good. Fingers look good. I like your technique. I like your detail. Now find your tail. Push your hips more forward. Squeeze your butt muscles. Squeeze the cheeks together and keep pushing. Stretch up, stretch down. Adina, this is gorgeous. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Beautiful. I love the stretching everyone did. Amy, good job. Turn the right foot in. Open up the left foot. Let's try the other side and give it a chance. Now bend your left knee. Get down as low as you can. Bounce down. Get down and stay down there. Hips forward, upper body back. Inhale, breathing. 
You want to move both arms at the same time, guys. Nice, Robert, that looks so good. Push your hips forward and stretch up and stretch down. I like seeing all the angles on your body here, Mr. Robert. I got that full view. Now stretch up, stretch down. Keep looking up towards the ceiling. Get that little twist in your neck. Help your shoulders release the tension from carrying the pandemic on your shoulders. Stretch up, stretch down. Keep your feet pushing down. Suck your stomach in. Inhale, come back up. That's it, turn the left foot forward, bring your right foot back to its place, toes and heels together, arms down by your side. Stand still, focus on your breathing. You guys did wonderful on that one, it was gorgeous. Good work, I should have taken a picture, but I was too busy looking at all of the detail. Good, let's go to our next posture, standing separate leg, head to knee pose. Bring your arms over your head sideways and take one big step to the right. Keep the hands together, the thumbs crossed. Step to the right, pick up the toes, go on in quarter turn, and face the right hand side of where you're at, wherever that might be. Now suck your stomach in, stretch up towards the ceiling, lock your arms and keep them with your ears. Tuck your chin into your chest on the exhale, start going down. See if you can ride the exhale down all the way. Same thing I want you to do on our half tortoise today and our rabbit pose. So come on down, forehead on the knee, chin into the chest, eyes on stomach. Round the back spine up towards the ceiling, guys. Look like that beautiful Hawaiian rainbow or nice Merritt Island rainbow. Tuck the chin into the chest, eyes on stomach, and breathe as normal as you can with the chin into the chest. Try to breathe normal. Round the spine, suck the stomach in, push the feet against the floor, push your hands against the floor. Now make a shift. Make sure you're pushing that front foot against the floor so all the weight doesn't go into the back leg around the sciatic nerve. Bring your arms and head together. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms and head together all the way back up. Stretch up, stretch up. Now pick up your toes. Use that stretch up to help you pivot and turn and face the other direction. Make it about face here. Now inhale, stretch up. Exhale, you go down. Tuck your chin into your chest and come on down. Bring the forehead to the knee, chin into the chest. So you're just spiraling into your body to create a spiral of energy that's gonna move through your body. Now get the forehead on the knee, chin into the chest, eyes on stomach, and keep breathing as normal as possible with the throat choked. Now keep looking up at the stomach. You gotta keep the eyes open. Push the hands beyond your toes until your arms are straight, the elbows are locked out. Stay up on your fingertips and press down to round up to help your spine create more space on the back side. You wanna embrace the space, spine the space, round the spine, suck the stomach in, breathe normal, push both feet into the floor, especially the front foot, arms and head together, guys, inhale, breathing, come up, keep the chin in, let it come out last, so we still work that intricate system to balance the hormones, now pivot, turn to the right, and bring your right foot back to the left foot, so you're all pulled back together again, like Humpty Dumpty, back on the wall, I'll put back together again, good job, all right, breathe through the nose, mouth closed, we'll try our second set, bring the arms over the head sideways, place the hands in prayer, cross your thumbs, switch the thumb change it up a little bit just a little detail now step to the right one big step pick up your toes and pivot stretch up to make the pivot easier all right good now inhale stretch up exhale you go down tuck your chin into your chest look at your stomach and touch the forehead exactly on the knee keep the throat choked the eyes open and breathe as normal as possible round the spine find your mad halloween cat round it up suck your stomach in keep your throat choked eyes open breathe normal feeling like we're in halloween every day wearing a mask push your heels down into the floor that back leg needs to be straight guys and get the back heel on the floor keep the arms and head together suck your stomach in both legs locked inhale come up as slow as you can ride the inhale on the way back up yes very good exhale turn and pivot face the front and bring your right foot back to its place toes and heels together arms down by your side Excellent. Oh, we've got the other side. Excuse me. Pivot. Make the left side. Thanks, Stephen and Michelle. All right. Turn and face the left <laughs> and come on down. Chin into the chest, eyes on stomach, head on knee. All right. Round the spine up, throat choked, breathe normal. All right, we had been teaching a while where the screen looked the same as the way we were saying, then we switched it to be like the mirror so we wouldn't get confused when we get back into the classroom, and now I'm getting confused again. All right, round the spine up, suck the stomach in, it's easy for me to get confused. Round the spine, keep your hands pushing against the floor, keep your throat choked, eyes open, and breathe as normal as possible. Maureen, put a little bit more weight in the front foot, that's it. 
Now try to lift the left hip up a little more and suck your stomach and there it is. Feel that pressure on the front side. That's what you want. Now bring the arms and head together. Inhale, breathing, come up slowly. Arms and head together. Squeeze your butt. That's it. Now pick up your toes, quarter turn, turn and face the front and bring it all back together again. Feet together, arms down by your side, stand still, breathe easy and relax and recover. All right, good work guys. All right, let's do tree pose. All right, feet together. Step into the left leg. I gotta get my Jedi out. Bring your right leg up to the middle of your thigh, wherever it feels comfortable. Bring it as high as you want for tree pose. Just listen to your knee. Now let the knee go down and back and be gentle with pushing the knee back. As you push the knee back, engage the buttocks and push the hips forward. Line up the two knees, the hips, the shoulders. Good. Now bring your right hand up to the center of your chest and balance. Good, so you're sticking your little branches out, right leg, right arm. Now just try to stand firm with the left foot, the root of the tree and stretch up. Get the top of the tree to touch the top of the ceiling. Change, right leg down, toes and heels together, step into the right leg, bring the left leg up. Good, place the thigh, place it on the thigh, let the knee go down and back. Now continuously push the knee back and push the hips forward. Find your butt muscles to help you support the knee joint and opening the hip. Bring the left hand up. If you can balance there, you can bring both hands up to Namaskar, tree pose. And balance, stand firm like a tree, like those beautiful palm trees right behind Miss Adina with maybe some oak trees further back. All right, change. Left leg down, toes and heels together. Good, let's go into our toe stand. Feet together nicely, step into your left leg, bring your right leg up, place it on the mid to high thigh. Find a comfort zone. Bring the hands, palms together in front of the chest. Bend forward out of the lower spine and bring all 10 fingers to the floor. Come on down, touch the ground. Good, bring your hands to the side, balance on your fingertips. Keep your chest up, spine straight. Bring your left hand up, your right hand up. Balance with no hands, good effort there, good. Steve, keep trying to go a little bit lower, keep bending the knee a little more, baby. All right, come on down. Good, Amy, keep working it, keep your focus. Left hand, right hand up, balance, don't move. Change, bring your hands back to the front and help yourself back up. <clears throat> Good. Left leg down, toes and heels together. Good job, guys. Let's go to toe stand, Padagastasana. Change your gaze to the floor. Bring your right foot up. Place it on your mid to high thigh or left leg up or right leg up. Left leg up, Robert. Sorry, I messed up. <laughs> Trying to read something here. Oh, thanks, Dennis. <laughs> if I do that, it'll mess up the microphone. All right, bring your hands, palms together in front of the chest. Bend forward out of the lower spine and come on down. Now I remember where we're at. Seconds at a toe stand. Good. All right, come down. Bring the hands to the side. Balance on your fingertips. Keep your chest up, spine straight. Left hand, right hand up. Almost, Michelle. Keep trying, beautiful. Left hand, right hand up and balance. Good job. Bring your hands back to the front. Help yourself come on back up. Good, Sharon. All right, change. Left leg down, toes and heels together. Good work. All right, good job, guys. All right, let's make our way down to the floor. Turn around, lie down on your backs. Take the screens with you if you need to. Increase your volume if you need to. If it's up on, the, if it's a computer up on the top. And come on down, get on the ground. All right, good, everybody got settled down. All right, just a couple minutes here to let the body relax and recover.
we'll start our floor work now with wind removing pose, Pava Muktasana. Inhale, breathing, right leg lifts up. Interlock all 10 fingers, two inches below the knee. Pull the knee in towards your right shoulder. Avoid being on top of the rib cage. Make sure you feel a little pinch on top of the right hip. Push your chin down towards your chest, back of the neck towards the floor. Just pull down extra hard so you feel the pinch, the tourniquet effect. Help the digestive system so the body can be more rest and digest mode, helping you to calm down the body. Keep the left leg straight, the heel towards the back, so stretch the heel away. If your left calf or back of the knee, even your thigh muscle doesn't touch the floor. Squeeze your elbows in close so they're touching your rib cage. Don't let them touch the floor. Bring them into your body. Push the chin down, back of the neck down, keep your eyes open and breathe. Change, leg down, arms down, good. I saw some skull heads, the top of the muscle around the arm look good. Inhale, bend your left leg, interlock all 10 fingers, two inches below the knee, interlock them and get a nice tight grip so you have the thumbs even crossed. Pull the knee towards the left shoulder. Avoid being on top of the rib cage, feel the little pinch on the hip. Push the chin towards the chest, keep the back of the neck towards the floor. Flatten out your back, squeeze the elbows in, eyes open, breathe normal, stay focused on the pulling and the pressure, get more of your body weight to feel against the floor. Change, left leg down, arms down. Inhale, both legs lift up. Wrap your arms around each other, give yourself this great big hug. Wrap it around and hold. Good. Hold the elbows each other if possible. Push the chin down towards the chest, back of the neck towards the floor. Try to flatten your entire back side against the floor. Pull down. Get the rib cage down. Push the chin down. Get the back of the neck down. Get your tailbone down. Pull. Push the back of the back on the floor and change. Legs down, arms down, and relax. Take a breath through the nose. Keep the mouth closed. The posture settle in the body and let's try our second set inhale right leg lifts up interlock all ten fingers two inches below the knee pull the knee towards the shoulder avoid the rib cage feel the pinch on the hip create the pinch in the hip you're creating the tourniquet effect don't back off get the pressure on the abdominal muscles excellent to get things moving push the chin down back the neck down pull flatten it all out hold it in there change right leg down arms down inhale left leg lifts up Interlock all 10 fingers, two inches below the knee. You can change it up. Now pull the knee in towards the left shoulder. Avoid the rib cage. Keep both shoulders relaxed. Squeeze your elbows in. Keep your eyes open. Breathe as normal as possible. Make sure the right leg is straight and you feel the right calf on the floor. If not, bring the right toes towards your nose more. Extend the right heel away from you more. Pull down. Feel the pressure. Put the pressure in there. Change, left leg down, arms down. Both legs lift up immediately, wrap your arms around each other and give yourself a great big hug. Hold the elbows each other if possible. I get a nice tight, compact grip. Pull it together here, guys. Stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees. All right, pull it together. Push the chin towards the chest. Keep your eyes open and breathe normal. Eventually in the future, when the bone joints improve, your spine will be flat on the mat. Change, legs down, arms down, breathe normal through the nose, keep your mouth closed, filter the oxygen you're bringing in, make it more pure using the nose. All right, we go to our sit up. So bring your toes and heels together, flex your feet towards your face, bring your arms above your head, inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, dive for the big toes, exhale and double jerk. Grab the big toes with two fingers, like putting them flip flops on. Now come up, turn around, face the front. Lie on your bellies. We're ready for our prone position. Great for the lungs, great for the spine. It's a great way to target isolating the spine to improve its strength. CDC recommends doing some exercises on your bellies to help the lungs. All right, now bring your hands palms so their fingers are right in line with the shoulders. Little baby fingers doesn't stick outside the deltoid, the shoulder joint. Squeeze your fingers together, press your hands flat, squeeze your legs together, push your top of your feet against the floor, get the tail tip of the cobra ready to go. Now inhale, breathing, lift your upper body up. Come on up, cobras. Eyes up, chin up, chest up. There we go, looking good. Now stretch the chin up towards the ceiling. Keep the eyes open, look back. Try to look back for, through the ceiling, through the wall. Keep the elbows squeezing in. Bring the elbows in more, guys. Squeeze them in towards your hips. Keep your eyes up, chin up, chest up. Hang up there like a cobra in a basket. Five, four, three, two, 
One, and slowly lower the upper body down, bring the arms down by your side, look to the right side, breathe and relax. Second set of Cobra. Bring your chin forward, place your hands flat against the mat, all five fingers together. Don't let the little baby finger stick out. They've been trained after wearing rings on that ring finger. Bring the baby finger in. I right, squeeze your elbows in. Eyes forward, chin forward, inhale breathing, lift up, look up, let the eyes lead the way. Where do you wanna go? Start using the eyes more and the breath more. Now really try to breathe into the lungs so we have this nice big expansion of the lungs. Bring your elbows in, squeeze them in more. Eyes up, keep the chin up, close the mouth guys, keep the eyes open. Squeeze your elbows in, push your feet down. Three, two, one, and slowly lower the body back down. That's it, that was gorgeous. Nice job, Sharon. Arms down by your side, look to the left and breathe easy. Slow down the breath, help your body recover. Help your body power up for the next pose. Locust pose. Turn the hands, palms down right where they're at. Move the arms underneath the body. Elbows are under the stomach, so they may hurt a little bit or they may hurt a lot. Elbows under the stomach, baby fingers together. Try to get your wrist together. Baby fingers together. Open your fingers wider so they're apart. Grab the floor with your fingertips. Chin forward, look forward, inhale breathing. Right leg lifts up. Point the toe, lock the leg, stretch the leg all the way up. Now keep the leg locked, the toe pointed. Extend the leg to the back. Feel like a herd of wild horses pulling it to the back. Keep the leg up, eyes open, stretch the chin forward. Change, right leg down. Inhale, left leg lifts up. Come on up there, lift the leg up, point the toe, extend the leg and lock the knee. Contract your thigh muscles, keep the leg strong. Try to even squeeze the butt muscle and keep the leg up, keep the chin forward. Change, left leg down. Place the mouth on the towel. Readjust the head, readjust the hands. Grab the floor with your fingertips, open them wide. Now take a deep breath and lift up both legs off the floor. Push the floor down to get your legs up and struggle more and don't give up, stay with it. Push the floor down, get your legs up. Feel that in your shoulders. Push the weight to the shoulders more. Push and lift, chest up, press chest, shoulders down, legs up and slowly lower back down. Sorry about that tongue twist. My tongue is doing yoga today. All right, body down, arms down from underneath the body. Look to the left. Breathe, or look to the right, breathe easy and relax it out. Sorry about that, Adina. All right, guys, let's try our second set. Turn the hands, palms down, move the arms underneath the body, elbows under the stomach. Second set always feels just a little better, going a little deeper. All right, good massage even to the intestines here. Chin forward, look forward, inhale, breathing, right leg lifts up. Point the toe, lock the leg, stretch the leg to the back, keep it up nice and strong. Keep that leg lifted, point the toe, extend, hold it up there, three, two, one, slowly lower the leg back down. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Point your toe, lift your leg. Keep the knee locked. Pull the knee skin up towards the hip. Squeeze that thigh muscle nice and tight. Push the shoulders down. Push more weight to the shoulders. Hold the leg. Change, bring the leg down. Mouth on the towel, kiss the towel. Mm -hmm. Give it some loving. It's been holding you up. Now grab the floor with your fingertips without bending your knees. Lift up both legs off the floor. Push down to get the legs up. Struggle more to get the legs up. Don't give up to get the legs up. Come up, legs up, go up. More, 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 more up. And slowly lower down. Good. Take the arms out from underneath the body. Look to the right side and rest and breathe. Help your bodies recover. Help your body absorb the posture. Second set. Turn the hands, palms down, move the arms. Um, oh, I guess we're out to the uh, first set of full locusts. Thanks, girls. All right, bring the arms out to the side. All five fingers are together, chin forward. 
There we go. Now take a deep breath, squeeze your buns and lift up. Arms, legs, body, chest, everything off the floor. Lift off the floor, push your hips down and try to get your upper body up higher. Take a deep breath on the exhale, get the chest up higher. Exhale, chest up, come up, go up, more up. Good, Sharon, and slowly lower down. All right, arms down by your side. Now look to the right, breathe easy and relax. Second set, bring the arms on out. Get ready to fly, it's your second flight, gotta get back home. All right, squeeze your legs together, there's no place like home. Take a deep breath, look up, kick up, and stretch the arms out to the side, open up your chest more, lift your legs up, lift it from your heel so you're using your tush a little more. Now push the hips down into the floor, use your breathing to go up a little higher, exhale, chest up, body up, come up, go up, more up and slowly lower back down. All right, good, arms down by your side. Look to the left, breathe easy through the nose, mouth closed, relax, recover your breathing, slowly through the nose. We go to bow pose, Dhanurasana. Bring your chin forward, bend your knees to hold your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes. Five finger grip, all five fingers, that's it. All right, keep your wrist straight. So bring the palms of your hand closer to the outside of your foot. Keep it there, glue it there. Now take a deep breath and slowly, gently kick your legs up and don't step, stop kicking. Kick your legs back and kick your legs up. You kick back, it brings the chest up. Kick more up, it opens up the entire spine more. Try to get into that middle spine. Kick up a little bit more. Roll more forward. Keep the knees in so you don't put too much in the lower spine. Kick a little harder, knees in a little bit more, Stephen. Kick harder, kick, kick, kick. There you go. Slowly lower down. I have to do that same thing, Stephen. Sometimes just drop my head so I can get the legs together. All right, good work. Arms down by your side. Good. Breathing through the nose, mouth closed. Take a little gander to the right. Focus on your breathing. Instead of focusing on the dust bunnies that you didn't get this weekend. Let's try our second set, guys. Bring the chin forward. Bend the knees. Hold the feet two inches below the toes. Wrist straight, so palm of the hand on the outside of the foot. Squeeze the knees in, keep them right behind the hips. Now take a deep breath and slowly, gently kick your legs back and up. Don't let the knees go wider than the hips, kick a little harder. You've got a lot of width with those hips, so kick and keep the knees in that alignment, like two wheels in one base, taking care of your car. Roll, keep rolling forward, kick a little harder. Eyes up, chin up, chest up, kick harder, kick, 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 and slowly lower back down. Good, straighten out the body, arms down by your side. Look to the left, focus on the breath, slow it down. Place your hands under your shoulders, push away from the floor to your knees. Come on up to the top of the town, knees together, feet apart. Sit between the feet so the hips and heels touch for fixed firm pose, Sutra Varasana. Now, if your hips are not touching the floor yet, stay upright for a little bit. Try it on the second set to go back. Just let make sure the knees are getting a good warm up. Now, hands on the toes, thumbs inside, fingers outside. Go back to your right elbow. Go back to your left elbow. If you can't go back to the elbows, focus on your breathing. Focus on long breaths. And when you exhale, try to draw it out and see if you can get the hips to go closer to the floor, like you're sinking in little millimeters. All right, hands over the arms, over the head, hold the elbows each other over the head. Tuck the chin down, lift your chest up, keep your eyes open and breathe. Now bring your hands back to your feet and help yourself back up. Take your time, guys. Everybody's at different levels on this one, no problem. All right, come up, turn around, lie down, and get the kinks out of the joints. So let them be straight. Welcome back, Maureen. All right, let the legs be straight, arms straight, relax and breathe.
Bring your toes and heels together, arms up over the head, thumbs crossed. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, dive for your big toes, exhale, double jerk. That's it. Come up, turn around. Face the front of the room. Let's try our second set of fixed firm pose. Knees together, feet apart, sit between the feet. Excellent. I like your setup, Amy. I know you listened in the classroom on that tip. All right, open up your feet, sit between the feet, hips and heels touch. Go back to the right elbow, the left elbow, one by one. Drop your head back. Go all the way back so your upper body can relax on the floor. Good job, guys. Bring the arms over the head. Hold the elbows each other. Now, just to access a little different, you can switch which arm is on top when you're doing your arm crossing over the head to make the picture frame. Tuck the chin down. Lift the chest up. Breathe into your chest. We're trying to expand, open up the chest, get more endurance and power to get ready for a camel pose. Now, bring your hands back to your feet and help yourself come on back up. There we go. Now bring the knees together, the feet together. We're going to go on into half tortoise. I like combining a lot of these postures because it kind of helps my spine and I have the worst spine in the world and fake hips. So I hope it helps you guys. Bring your arms over your head sideways. Place your hands in prayer. Only cross your thumbs. Keep your elbows locked. Arms with your ears. Exhale, breathing and come down. Forehead on the floor. Chin away from the chest. Hips on the heels. Stretch the arms more forward. Keep the baby fingers on the floor, guys. Lift your elbows and your wrist off the floor. There you go. Now keep stretching the arms forward. Suck your stomach in. As you suck the stomach in, see if you can squeeze the knees tighter together. So you can stretch the sit bones that you sit on down towards your heels. As you stretch the sit bones towards the heels, stretch the fingertips more away from you. Hold your belly in, squeeze your knees together, chin away from the chest, arms and head together. Inhale, come up slowly. Good. Exhale, arms down by your side. Turn around and lie down so you can rest it out. You did two postures. Now you can rest and recover. Good. Bring your toes and heels together, arms back up over the head, cross your thumbs, suck your stomach in, squeeze your butt, inhale, quickly sit up, squeeze the butt all the way up, keep working on downsizing that tissue. All right, come up, turn around, and face the front of the room. Come into the middle of the towel, we'll do our second set, you can be at the back of the towel if you're going to cover a lot of space, you got long arms. Sit on your heels, bring your arms over your head sideways, place the hands in prayer. Exhale, breathing, come down slowly, see if you can do a 10 second breath on the way down, nine, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, over, over, one, touch the forehead, then the baby fingers. Very good, Maureen. Good job, Sharon. All right. Let's hear it for the masters in the class. All right, stretch your arms more forward, suck your stomach in, keep your hips coming down towards the heels, keep your eyes open and breathe as normal as possible, guys. Keep the breath moving through the body as we create this nice extension in the spine, nice long straight spine, moving the energy into the body. So you're powered up to work all day long and clean out those closets. Stretch your hips down, stretch your arms forward, suck your stomach in, inhale, breathing, come back up. All the way, nice and slow. Exhale, arms down. Good, stand up on your knees. Let's go to camel pose and see how that feels. <clears throat> All right, open up your knees a little wide, like six inches, maybe a little wider for a cold environment. Place your hands on your hips, fingers point down. Squeeze your elbows in, take a deep breath, push your hips forward, drop your head back, go back and stop halfway in the middle. Once you can stop there, you feel that you've got the power in your spine, the flexibility, squeeze your butt so you have the strength, and then bring the right hand down, the left hand down. Grab the heels, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Please don't lose the grip. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, push your stomach, legs, hips, thighs. Everything more forward towards the front mirror. Push a little harder. Push your hips more forward. Push, push. Push your feet down. Give one more push to the hips. Inhale, hands to the hips and come back up. Good. Now sit down, turn around and relax. Let's recover from our deep posture camel. Extend the legs, extend the arms and rest it out guys and breathe.
Now bring your toes and heels together, arms up over the head, thumbs crossed, squeeze your butt real tight, get more heat, inhale quickly, sit up. Contract those big muscles to keep the inside of the body stronger, more flexible. All right, come up, turn around, face the front of the room and come on up to the top of your mat. Set it up for the second set of camels. So open your knees as wide as you need them. Place your hands on your hips, fingers point down. Take a deep breath, push the hips forward with your hands and your feet, drop the head back, go back. Keep pushing the feet down, your ankles down and grab the right foot on the heel. Grab the left heel and thumbs outside, fingers inside. Get a full hand palm grip. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, push your stomach, legs, hips, thighs. Everything more forward towards the front mirror. Don't give up yet, push a little harder. Harder. push. Now try to push the feet, the knees to the feet all the way down against the floor. Then try to squeeze the knees in together. Now use that power in your legs and your butt to push, push, push. Put your hands on your hips. Come up and stop. Now bring your knees together for rabbit. Knees together, sit back on your heels. Flip the towel over the heels if you need it. You probably don't need it, guys. Now hold on to the heels. Thumbs outside, fingers inside for sasangasana rabbit. Get a little sassy rabbit. Tuck the chin into your chest. Look at your stomach. Exhale and pull and roll forward. Bring the forehead to the knee, chin into the chest, and the eyes on the stomach. That's it. Touch the forehead right on the knees. Top of the head's on the floor. Once the top of the head's on the floor, walk your knees up to your forehead. There you go. Good. Now push the top of the knees to the shins, to the ankles, to the feet against the floor. That's going to take strength. How much strength do you have to do that little pressure? Once you get that pressure, pull harder so your arms are straight, elbows are locked out. Use your arms to help you pull. Remember, the object of pulling is to help you stretch. You learn that at the very first posture. Pull harder, push your feet down, and lift your hips up. Stomach in, ride your exhale now in these last few seconds. Find an exhale and roll forward and pull the belly in deep. Three, two, one. Inhale, come up. Very good, little rabbits. All right, turn around, face the back, rest it out now. Good work. Extend your legs, extend your arms, breathe easy and relax. Bring your toes and heels together, arms over the head, thumbs crossed, inhale, breathe in quickly. Sit up, dive for your big toes, exhale, double jerk. Good, all right, come up, turn around, face the front of the room. Set it up for the second set of rabbit, knees together, feet together. Thumbs outside, fingers inside. Get your grip, use a towel if you must. Tuck the chin into your chest, look at your stomach and roll forward like a wheel and pull. Now as you're pulling, suck the stomach in and keep pulling on the way down. You'll find some more space in your spine, especially the lumbar. Forehead on the knees, top of the head on the floor. Beautiful there, Amy. Push the top of your feet down and lift your hips up. Nice with those shoulders. I love that, Andrea. Pull harder. Push the top of your feet down. Keep your hips lifting up. Stomach in. Roll more forward. Keep pulling. Last chance. Hips up. Hips up. Stomach in. Exhale. Ride it. Inhale. Come up. All right, very good, guys. Go on and sit to the left of your heels and bring your right leg out, your left leg in. We're going to do three in a row. Now we're trying to get into the hamstring and the lower spine. So as we finish rabbit, I like to get right into this one. All right, right leg out, left leg in. So your two legs look down, they're an upside down L. Bring your arms over your head sideways, interlock your grip, turn and rotate to face the right, bend over and grab your foot a couple of inches below the toes with an interlocked grip, make a stirrup around the foot. Now pull the toes back and kick like you're trying to stretch that Achilles tendon again. Try to get in there a little deeper. Let the heel go further away. Pull the toes back towards you. Tuck the chin in. Roll the left shoulder down and in. Keep the two shoulders in one line. Stomach in, guys. Pull the stomach in. Hide those rolls. Get your stomach in a little deeper and push the head closer to the stomach. Change. Come up, guys. Bring your arms up. Now change legs. Right leg in, left leg out. Two legs look like that backward number four. Now stretch up and then exhale, come down. Ride the exhale down so it's easier on your lower spine. Now grab the foot. 
Bend the knee if you have to, so you can grab the foot so there's no stress. Now inhale, kick the heel away, tuck the chin into the chest and place the forehead on the knee right on that exhale. You're curling in, going in deeper. Keep the throat choked, the eyes open and breathe as normal as possible. Roll the right shoulder down a little bit more, squeeze the elbows in, that's it, Amy, squeeze them in. Get the head closer, bring the right elbow closer to the calf, Sharon, squeeze it in. Get the head closer to the stomach, push the knee down, change and come up. Bring the legs right out in front of you and roll back. Immediately sit right back up, dive for the toes. Exhale, double jerk. All right, grab your big toes and walk your hips back. Walk back, walk back, walk back. Walk the hips back, hold onto your big toes. Inhale, lengthen up out of your lower back. Exhale, kick and pull and stretch your body down and forward. Stretch over your legs. You gotta bring the weight forward over the legs to help you get more into the buttocks, into the hips and the lower spine and up to that bottom of the rib cage. Pull your stomach in, find those areas on the back side. Push your sit bones to the floor, guys, and stretch more out of your lower spine. Anchor down the ass. Crick a little more. Stretch, stretch, stretch. I don't know where that came from. Inhale, come up. Sorry about that, guys. All right, good work. Turn around, lie down, relax on your back. Give you a little rest here. We'll put the last two together. See how that feels. Slow down the breath, breathe in and out through the nose. Notice if anything feels a little different, any sensations in the lower spine, behind the legs, or the breathing easier, or you feel more warm. Bring your toes and heels together, arms over the head, cross your thumbs to keep the arms with your ears. Now suck your stomach in, squeeze your butt, inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, dive for the big toes, exhale, and double jerk. Now come up, turn around, face the front of the room front of your mat. All right, right leg out, left leg in. Bring the arms over your head sideways, interlock your grip, two inches below your right toes. Tuck the chin in, get the forehead on the knee, throat choked, breathe normal. Roll the left shoulder down and in. That's it, good, Sharon. All right, keep the throat choked, breathe normal. Squeeze them in so they're touching the calf. Now, as you get to touch the elbows to the calf muscle, that's leverage. So anything that's touching. So squeeze it in and then try to use that leverage to see if you can get the rib cage to move and the head to slide up higher and higher above the knee. Keep the throat choked. Breathe normal. Change. Inhale, come up. Good. Switch it out. Left leg out. Right leg in. Grab your left foot two inches below the toes. Interlock grip. Interlock the grip and pull using the power of the interlocking to pull, like contracting your thighs, locking the muscles. Kick and pull. Teep the chin into the chest, forehead on the knee. Push the weight of the heavy brain against the knee. Roll the right shoulder down and in. Keep the elbows coming in close. Get you a little closer to your stomach. Push both hip bones down. Push both knees down. Get the head closer to the stomach. Get in there. Push it down. Change and come up. All right, arms by your head, roll back, make it a nice slow roll back, and then inhale quickly, sit up. Go down slow, come up quick. Grab your big toes, hold onto the big toes. Walk it back if you need to. That gives a little friction to the hips. Loosen up that tissue that's tight around the hip joint. Now inhale, lift them up out of your lower back, and then exhale, stretch over your legs. Keep stretching and keep kicking. Kick the heels more forward, turn the toes back more. Look at your toes. Keep trying to stretch forward and forward towards the toes. Keep kicking, push the back of the knees down, stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, inhale, come up. All right, let's do spine twist right now. So go on and bend your left knee the way you're facing. We always face the front in the advanced class from the 84 classics that Ghosh taught. That's where Bikram learned his series or made up his series. Bring your left leg down and bring your right heel by the left knee. Bring the left arm up and over, push it back with your elbow, the knee it's in front of you and move it out of your way. That's where we're trying to stretch the IT band from the knee down to that hip. All right, grab the knee on the floor and bring the right hand behind your back. Now situate your hips so both hips are on the floor, the knee in the front and the foot on the front are on the floor flat. So you may have to put, let the foot slide out a little bit. 
Now, hold onto the knee, inhale, lengthen your spine with your back arm against the ground. Then exhale, start turning and twisting around the back arm like it's at the base of your spine. Bring it in closer, guys, and turn and twist. Use it as your leverage, your tool, to help you twist your spine from top to bottom. Use your head and use your eyes to look and see how far you can twist. Then the middle spine, the lower spine, all gets the twist from the butt. Keep turning, keep looking, keep twisting, twist, 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 change, come up, change legs, right leg on the bottom, left leg on the top, bring the right arm up and over, push the knee back, grab the knee on the floor, now make sure you've got, you're sitting on a triangle, you have your knee on the floor, your two hips on the floor, all right, front foot on the floor to stabilize it, all right, right on front, left and back. Inhale, lengthen your spine with the back arm. Try to make the spine longer. And then exhale, turn and twist and look over your left shoulder as far as you can turn and twist. Keep the sit bones pushing down, especially the left one. That's where it's tight from the knee to the hip. Try to get that left hip down and push the left knee over to the side. Get into that stretch of the IT band. Stretch, twist, 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 change. All right, unwind, untwist the spine. Then straighten out the legs, lie down and relax. You can turn around and lie down and relax. Work your coordination, all the turning around. Now lie down on your back and relax. You guys did great this morning. Dealing with a crazy teacher this morning. Now bring your toes and heels together, arms up over the head, thumbs crossed, inhale, breathing. Quickly sit up, dive through the big toes, exhale, double jerk. There we go. Now come up, turn around for that final breathing. All right, set up straight, arms straight, fingers together. All right, we do our 60 breaths, a little slow for the first count. All right, belly relaxed. Get your little Buddha belly on. Ready, start please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Lick your lips, swallow a couple of times. We'll try a second set. Belly relax, spine straight, just a little faster. Ready? Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everyone. All right, big hand to everyone for getting up and doing your yoga in your floor. Give a high five to the screen. All right, high five to everyone. Turn around and lie down on your back. We're gonna do our final savasana now. We have plenty of time for that final savasana, combining some of the postures so we can move a little more fluid, get into the tissue a little deeper. So just lie down, relax it out. And I encourage you guys to try the hour class. I have one at 7.30, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And now on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5.30, if that works out for you in the evening, hey, do as much yoga as you can. It's not going to hurt you. It's only going to help you. So lie down now, relax, be quiet and still for two minutes. Then I'll unmute everyone after four minutes. You can leave the meeting and chat any way you want in those last closing two minutes. Thank you guys and namaste. Chill out, little Jedis. Happy Star Wars Day. May the Force be with you. <laughs>